Yeah, I think it's a combination of that. And I think the other reason is that why we or the club looks at them as right wingers is because on the left you have Vinicius and exactly and yeah. Hazard. And I think exactly. if Vinicius and Hazard didn't exist, you'd probably see a lot of Asensio and Rodrigo on the left. Rodrigo played a lot of football in Brazil on the left. And Asensio, I always found it funny when people get mad because I'm starting to remember now. It's when he plays on the left, People, a lot of people say, well, Zidane doesn't know how to use him. He's supposed to play on the right. But Asensio has had a lot of brilliant moments on the left. And if you, even if you go back to his Espanol days, his best plays were, were often on the left side, whether he's getting down the line and then using his left foot to, cr- to cross or cut back and get an assist or just mm-hmm. looking up at that spot and even cutting in and just doing different things. A lot of that came from the left. And I just think sometimes we... We th- we overthink it a little bit and say this player has to play on the right or the left. Even Bale, I found the same way. If he if he put Bale on the right, he could cut in and shoot. But if you put him on the left, he could get down the byline and put in a nice cross or just do things that he would do with Tottenham. Like that was yeah. all from the left side. So I just think sometimes we overthink it. Like players can be interchangeable. It's not a big deal. Um, yeah, and also one final point, Keen. I I feel like Real Madrid for different reasons. Wasted the two players who could have uh, made a huge contribution on the right wing this year, who are one Odegaard, who hasn't been getting chances to play there. Maybe he will in the future. It's obviously still early in the season. Yeah. But mainly Brahim. I feel like Brahim was the one young player who is natural on that right wing, who is comfortable on that right wing. And if you actually needed a right winger, look, I get that Rodrigo probably gets more hype than than Brahim did, especially last season. But I feel like if you actually needed a right winger, it, it actually made more sense to keep uh, Brahim to play there and and just send Rodrigo on loan and, and and send just play Rodrigo on his natural spot for another club if you didn't have the opening for him to play there. Uh, I feel like from a from a roster uh, building perspective. It maybe it made more sense to keep Brahim and and give him the minutes there on that on that right wing because I feel like he's way more comfortable than 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 Rodrigo on that right wing. 